Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this video, I've got a quick Divi tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to vertically center text in Divi. This is kind of part two of a tutorial I did. On the first one, I showed you how to create this full width section right here. And in this tutorial, what we wanna do is center this text. And we're gonna come up with a look that looks a lot like this. This is actually the design I show off that we create in my web design uh, website design course where the images on the left and the content and the text on the right is perfectly centered. So there's a variety of ways you could do this. When you have an image on the left and text on the right, you're, you'll probably, the first thought is to, okay, I could just adjust the padding and do something like that. And that would look fine right now, but here's the problem. If we look at this on tablet and mobile, Look on tablet, all of that text, there's a huge margin up top, a lot of padding on the top and the right, but then on the left, it's you know completely to the left of the screen. Same thing with phone. Now you could get into the mobile settings and adjust the padding on you know mobile and tablet, but that's just a pain and it's a waste of time. We wanna do things quick and efficient. So let me show you guys a nifty, handy, Sweet little trick that I guarantee you will use on every Divi website build that you guys work on moving forward. So here's the thing. And first things first, what, what I wanna do is clean up this look. Uh, this is actually, this whole section design is available for a free, lay, uh, a free download for you. So if you'd like to have this as a library item that you can just use and change out the content, this is available on my site. You can download it for free. Uh, but let me show you what I, what I wanna start out with here. First things first, let's make this a little more appealing. Let's give this a black background and let's make this text light so it pops off the background nicely and this is what we're gonna adjust. Okay, so you would probably think to go into the row. Again, I showed you how to uh, make this row full width in the previous tutorial, but if I go into the row settings and go into design, under sizing there is this option right here for equalize column height. So a lot of people click this, but then watch what happens. Wah, 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 nothing happens. Well, technically something is happening, but what's happening right now is when you click that, the columns are equalizing, but the content within those columns, that's not vertically aligning. So it's, I kind of wish they would change that, and I'm sure the Elegant Themes will probably update Divi right when I release this tutorial with that. Uh, but in any case, this isn't quite, you know, it's not vertically aligning that content. But have no fear, there is a super, super easy fix. So with this selected, let's go ahead and save let's back out of this. And it's just a quick little line of CSS that I'm gonna show you that you can use and uh, it's super, super easy. So watch this. Let me back out of this. And again, we just wanna center this text. So I'm gonna go to Theme Customizer. And ideally you would put your CSS, any custom CSS you have in a child theme. And if you're not sure what a child theme is, I do have a couple tutorials on that. I explain what a child theme is and you can download a free child theme. I also have a tutorial here that uh, walks you through where to put more advanced custom CSS. But in any case, we're just gonna stick this CSS uh, right here in the custom CSS section and watch this. When I paste this little snippet of code, watch what happens to the text here. Bam, look at that. And that, my friends, is the magic of CSS. Uh, basically what this is saying is, and if you don't know code, don't worry. I'll walk you through this. Basically, this is saying, hey, when that uh, selector or that option is selected where it said equal column heights, all of the columns, the margin on the top and the margin on the bottom is gonna automatically center that content. So all this stuff is a fancy way of saying, hey, when the columns are selected equal column height, then the margin top is auto, the same as the margin bottom, and that will automatically make your content perfectly center aligned. Very, very cool, and I will say, one reason I love having a child theme on all websites is I have this code just automatically in all of our sites. And that way, anytime I want to do a section that has that would need to have centered content, all I need to do is go in there and select it. So actually, let me do a quick example for you. If I go back to my site here, I've got another section started right here. And let's say we just wanna center this content to again, make the text be perfectly centered in between these two. Well, now with that code in, all I need to do is go to the row settings, go to design, uh, not spacing, sizing, and watch this, equalize column heights, and bam, that content is perfectly centered there. Super, super cool, super easy to do. Now, uh, this isn't a tutorial on uh, how to take this section to the next level because you would probably wanna go in here and just adjust some of the padding on mobile here. 
a variety of different ways you could do that. You could just go in, on this case, I would probably go into the column here, the second column where all that text is. And with this, you could go into the mobile side of like the padding for uh, for tablet. Just as a quick example, you could do something like that. Maybe something like that, looking pretty cool. Same thing for phone. You could just make sure it looks good on phone. Uh, but I go into that more on with this free layout here. And this actually is a separate tutorial on how to do all this. But again, this little quick tutorial just shows you how to center that text very, very easy with that code. You may see I have a, pre a previous tutorial on how to vertically align content. But again, this is actually a little bit dated now. All you need to do is add that code and then with that code added into either your custom CSS area or your child theme style sheet, all you need to do is again, go to your row settings, go to design, and then go to sizing and click equal columns, uh, column height, equalize column height, and you are good to go. So hope you enjoyed that guys. Make sure you click below to subscribe and you'll get more tutorials like this. If you want to learn more about Divi, I do have a beginner's course for Divi and WordPress. I would love to help you learn Divi quick so you can start building awesome websites. And then this is a prime example of why it's so important to, to know CSS. So if you guys wanna know CSS, I do have a Divi CSS course available for you as well. And I'd love to help you really level up and become a valuable web designer with that when you're ready. So enjoy, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on another tutorial.